It's finally starting to feel like fall outside, and this is going to make it feel like fall in the kitchen. Yeah, me and McCormick with Pinewood Store and Kitchen showing us how to make stuffed butternut squash. We love this. Yes. And this is a great time of year, especially out in Pinewood. Out in Pinewood, lots happening in Pinewood. We're going to celebrate Halloween because if you don't know, follow me on Facebook. I am a dresser upper, but you can kind of imagine that, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> and we Never love dead. that. So you carry that on into Pinewood oh, yeah. Store and Kitchen. So we're having trick oh, we or trunk or trunk too. or treat. I don't yeah. know if it's trunk or treat, like get in the trunk or get a treat. I don't know. I don't understand. Don't put any kids don't in, the in the trunk. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Just I'm reach in. No. Just reach in. Grab, and grab a bag. Anyway, so we're doing that on the 28th from 2 to 4. We oh, have, fun. Yeah, and I'm dressing up. If you come in a costume, you get a prize. Oh, yeah. I like to get prizes. Yes, And then this weekend, I have live music, fish fry on Friday. I have Dangerous Curves, Saturday Night, The Keepers. Oh. And guess where I have wieners? I got wieners. Yes. That's my wiener, piney wieners. Yeah, my hot dogs are in. I think you've come up with your jingle. Piney wieners in the rain. Oh Makes my you feel gosh. happy. But that's not I what I'm making it. today, but I have them this weekend. <laughs> okay. Anyways, back Butter to the focus. Squash. Let's go to the squash. Butter Butter squash. So this is she makes those, by the way, because she's got her own hogs. And I got my own hogs and everything. Cows. Yeah. So now you sent them out and you've got your wieners. And I'm back. doing carrot so wieners good. and I'm going to do them on the show next time. Stay tuned. Okay. Anyway, so this is a leftover recipe. We're taking butternut squash that you baked the night before. You said you didn't know what to do with it. Yes. Bake it. Okay. Scoop out the seeds, cut it in half, put it in the oven, you're done. Then tomorrow night, you're going to take your leftovers from the night before. And you're going to take red onion okay. because it fights the uh, rhinovirus and oh. the common cold. We need and we that need right that. now. Yes. Okay, yes. you're going to be the stirrer. Is that red over white? I just really prefer? love a red, and okay. people seem to like red, and mm -hmm. I like red. But in general, onions in general help fight yep. the rhinovirus. So this is also, gotcha. as my big sleeves, by the way. I've, I've got my you. Big I got sleeves. you, girl. You I can buy you. this dress at can, Pinewood. Oh, yeah, you can buy my dress because my online store, pinewoodstoreandkitchen.com, is up. What? Yes. So you can now buy everything I wear and all the things I cook with. So now we're just going to put our kale in there, and we've got our kale, and we don't want to overcook it. Okay. And we're going to oh, soften okay. it with some orange zest. I love Yum. orange zest. Me too. So put a little orange zest. Yes, you want a zest? Yes, ma'am. Maybe the zester. Maybe okay. the zester. Yeah. We're going to put a little apple cider vinegar in there because it gives it that tang. Mm. Ooh. And now we're going to add a little bit. We, oh, wait, that's all we already put that in there. Okay. We're going to put a little orange juice in there. Nice. Now real orange. Oh, no, a real orange, yeah. Orange zest, okay. a pinch of sea salt. And then what I'm going to do, and you know kale has more calcium than milk, and so does quinoa. So this oh. has quinoa. So I've got leftover quinoa. Okay. So this is what to do with my leftovers. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little quinoa in there. Okay. And we're just warming it up. Now this is Which green. Which is nice. That gives it a, a, yeah, a little bit more Yeah, and I've turned off my heat kale. because I don't want to overcook my kale. Okay. And then I'm going to take my chickpeas. Really and good protein. I love chickpeas, great protein. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of dried cranberries. And the reason you add them into the heat is because you want them to open up and soften up. Oh, good idea. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to finish it with a little bit of honey because mm. I've got bees, as Carol knows. Yes, yes she do. She's got yes, her own bees do. and her honey. I'm telling you, it, yeah. it heals you. And I love a little heat. Red pepper it. flakes. You could skip this, add it. But I like it hot. And then just before I'm going to bake it, I'm going to add a little tamari. So tamari I also sell in the mercantile and on my online store, pinewoodstoreandkitchen.com. She's so good. Uh -huh. Anyway, so this is my tamari. Okay. And tamari is fermented soy that's gluten-free, but it also has live cultures in it. So it's probiotic. Oh. It's a digestive aid. Good mm. for you. And I'm Use all about that. Use it soy sauce. Yeah. Yep. And you can add, I have some um, crispy green apples. You can add them in. Anyways, you're going to stuff your squash. Okay. And you can scoop it out or you can just stuff it at the bottom. Just hollow okay. it. And if you do scoop it out, save it and heat it up with some coconut oil and a little honey and it's breakfast. Ooh, oh, yum. I'm going to put just yeah. a little in there. And then scoop it. Okay, let me ask you this. When See, you I like to scoop out a little bit more. When okay. you roasted this um, butternut squash, yeah. did you just put a little bit of like coconut you oil on it? You put a little coconut it? oil on it, a little bit of olive oil. See, and then save that. Yeah. And you can serve it with it if you like it big and stuffed. But did you mm. do you put salt and stuff like that when you just a little sea salt? Yeah, you hit it with a little sea salt just and a I little? put it on. Okay. TodayInNashville.com has okay. the recipe. And it tells you how to do the butternut squash from right. beginning to end. And then we added bacon. So this is a great vegan dish. But yes. if you have someone who's not a vegan at the table with the vegans, then add a little bacon and maybe some goat cheese. Pinewoodstoreandkitchen.com for more info. Everything is there. Mm. This recipe is going to be on our website TodayInNashville.com. We love you. I love you Good all. Good stuff. Come see me in Pinewood. Yes. So good.